sweet hug. Finn, get over here. I want you two to do some sparring. Do you think you're up to that? I don't know. I've not done much sparring. What the hell? Coach, I've destroyed it. Why would you put us in the ring together? You'll learn from each other. Finn has speed, you have strength. If you don't like my teaching style, you're more than welcome to leave. Sorry, Coach. Now get in that ring, get sparring. Right. You lot, let's do some defence technique. Kelly, help me demonstrate. The art of boxing is to hit and not get hit. Defence is a major part of being a competitive boxer. It isn't all about who can throw the strongest punches. If your defence is down and you lose, it will be your own fault for fighting like an idiot. Maybe you should lead this. OK, well the first thing is to make sure you're in the right position. So you're free to move away quickly, if necessary. Next, make sure you have a nice, tight guard. This will stop the shots landing. Most bats end on points, so the stronger your guard, the less shots will land, which means your chances are increased. People think boxers are stupid, but we're not. Boxing is like chess. You need to be constantly two moves ahead of your opponent in order to win. Everyone has their weaknesses. You just need to be able to expose them. Oh dear, Anthony. What would your darling wife say if she found out you were being so close with an attractive young woman? Maybe I should have a sisterly chat with her. Tina knows it's nothing like that. Kelly's like a daughter to me. <laughs> I'm not quite sure my sister thinks the same as you. What do you want, Maxie? I'm sorry. I thought when you and my sister asked me to help you start this business, the agreement was that we'd be equal partners. This place as much as mine as it is yours. You have your classes and clients. I have mine. Don't interfere. I wouldn't have to interfere if you were running them properly. I mean, look at this place. It should be packed out. But instead, you've only got a handful of people training. You need my magic touch. I know exactly what I'm doing. I have a fully drawn out business plan ready to take to the bank. As for getting people training in here, I have ideas. Well, I think you should share these ideas. Let's meet straight after your session. Tina's expecting me home. She'd go mad if I'm late tonight. She'd be madder if you didn't make this business work and not have a penny to spend. Oh, no, no. Hello? Hey, it's me. Oh, hi, baby. Just in the middle of making dinner. What's wrong? Oh. Um, I think I'm going to be home a bit late. Max has called an emergency meeting. She's finding things hard. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. You do what you have to do. Make sure Max is OK, bless her. She obviously doesn't have the same business brain as you. Don't worry about dinner. I'll keep it warm for you. Thanks, Tina. Love you. Love you too. Why do I even bother? Hey, kid. You really coming along? You know any of my match yet, but you're getting better. Thanks. I'm trying. I said I might even be able to have my first bout soon. <laughs> yeah. Right. What made you want to get into this game, anyway? What do you mean? There's got to be a reason why you started boxing. Mum's because my dad used to box, and he thought I'd be good at it. He was right. Look at me. I'm Jason Neal, fist of steel, national champion, undefeated, sweet. Well, I guess it's because there's this guy that kind of has it in for me. So you mean you get bullied? Yeah. Well, if you mess with you again, give me a call, buddy, and I'll sort it out for you. No way. What's the point of learning to fight if you can't fight back? I don't train you to be fighters. I train you as boxers. There's a difference. Boxing teaches discipline. You get rid of aggression and adrenaline in the ring. It's safer than fighting. If you're a fighter, all sorts of danger can come from it. Aggression takes over. Look at Tyson. He let the street fighter come out in the ring. His aggression took over. It ruined the career of a talented boxer. I don't want either of you two to fight outside the ring. Do you hear me? Yes, coach. Yes, coach. Uh, can you two walk Kelly home? I've got a meeting with Maxine. 
Sure thing. We'll be right out. Listen, you don't have to fight a guy to fight a guy. As long as you can look like you can take him. I might be able to help you out with that. Pretty impressive stuff you showed in there. I'm pleasantly surprised. What do you mean surprised? Well, girls like you don't really do sports like boxing. I mean, look at you. Not really the sporty type. Are you trying to say that I'm a bimbo? No. I'm just saying, boxing doesn't really get you the male attention girls like you want. Let's get one thing straight. Nothing I do is to get attention from men. I dress the way I dress because it makes me feel good. I do what I do because I want to. Nobody else, just me. I thought you as a woman would understand that. You're just as bad as everyone else. Sorry, didn't happened? mean to offend you. Whatever happened to girls sticking together and getting girls into sport? Sorry. Um, should we go then? Sure. Bye, coach. Later, guys. See you tomorrow. Well, she's feisty. Pop. For God's sake, you're late and you forgot your flipping keys. Pushing your luck. Oh, Joey. I'm a spin. Parcel's gone for hands, my mum wanted to bring you around for him. Thanks. It's kind of you. How is your mum? She just had a dialysis, so she's still pretty tired. I'm holding down several jobs just to keep us going. She's a stubborn cow, though. Still finds a way to tell me I'm doing something wrong. How's Ants? I feel like I haven't been to the gym in ages. He's fine. We worry about you, though. You always were his favourite. Sorry, but he's off on business tonight. You know we're here if you need anything, though. Thanks, Mrs B. It means a lot. Tell Ants I'll call into the gym sometime when it's a little bit less hectic. You know, I really want to start up again. Will do, Joey. Take care, won't you? Thanks again. Typical. Bloody typical. And when I saw him hit that floor, that's when I knew I was unstoppable. There's nothing like your first knockout. I'm not talking these technical headcount knockouts. I'm talking a proper unconscious knockout. So you've actually knocked someone unconscious? Yeah, buddy. Stick with me and you'll get your chance too. You're so full of shit. I think my record would say different. You got lucky. Yes, you're strong for your weight group. If you went up a category, you'd lose every time. I'm sorry. I forgot you were coach now. When was your last bout again? I was meant to have one last week, but the girl got bitten on the face by a fucking dog. But that's besides the point. There are less female boxers, so I fought more technical fighters than you. Listen, let's be real here. Girls can't box. It's cute that you're trying and you've got the technique down, but you're too soft. You've not got the natural instinct. Help me out here, Finn. Uh, Kelly's a good boxer. I don't see why she shouldn't box. It's okay, Finn. You really have no clue, do you, Jason? You're so obsessed with being undefeatable, you can't see how flawed you are. This obsession will be your downfall. See you tomorrow, Finn. <laughs> she so wants me. Really? You think so? Yeah. That's just what we were like. Trust me. Anyway, I've got a solution for your little bullying issues. Yeah? One word. Steroids. Seriously think a few measly ads in the local paper and word of mouth's gonna get you anywhere. I'm good at what I do and people like my style. I've got all the right documents, what else is needed? You really have no idea, do you? 
Paper sell nothing. You need a gimmick. Yeah, the clean cut family man's good, but it's not gonna draw in the punters. What are you trying to say? That I'm boring? Because believe me, I'm anything but boring. Oh really? Well I'd like to see this exciting man. All I'm saying is that you need to know your market. Who are people more likely to go for boxing coaching? A guy in his mid-twenties or a 30-something clicks con that's just turned his life around. So, you're saying we need a gimmick? We could do, like, a charity boxing match. Get some local business involved, some publicity as well. There we are. See? There is a business brain in there somewhere. I think I'd better head off. Tina will be wondering where I am. Right, yeah. Tell her I'll come over for coffee soon. See you later. Yeah. See ya. See, if you're bulk up, proper built, then no one's gonna mess with you. It'll cost you, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna get into that sort of stuff. Whatever, just think about it. <laughs> well, well. If it isn't little Finny Fern. Leave me alone, Joey. What's in the bag? Leave me alone, Joey. What the fuck is this? It's my gym gear for boxing. Boxing? You're telling me that you go to Ant's gym? That's disgusting. Do you know little queers like you in the changing rooms perving on all the guys? I am not a queer. Who are you trying to kid? You kiss me. What the fuck was that about? It was an accident. I meant nothing. You're sick. You're not about a little puff. I'm not a puff. You know, it's been a while since I had a chat with Vance. Maybe I should tell him that his new guys are queer. Don't. Please. And why would I do anything for you? Just don't ruin this for me. Where's the fun in that? Go on, now run along, queer. Time to call this. You get later and later. Don't be like that. I rang to tell you I'd be late. Yeah, but you knew your dinner was in the oven. It's like you don't even care. I don't know why I bother. Calm down, I'll eat the fucking thing. It's not about the dinner. Then what is it about? Please tell me because I don't have a clue. The doctor said that if we're ever going to conceive naturally, we need to have sex as often as possible whilst I'm ovulating. I'm doing everything I can and what have you been doing? You've been drinking again. Yeah. I had a meeting with Maxie in the pub. I am trying, Tina, I am. I just don't know what else I can do. It'd be nice if my husband put me ahead of work for a change. We're meant to be starting a family. How come I feel like a single mother and I haven't even got a child? Please, I'm doing this for us, both of us. If this business works the way we want it to, then we'll be secure. Maxie and I have big plans. We could even pay for several bouts of IVF if we need to. Whatever it takes to start a family. Do you mean it? Do you promise? I love you, Anthony. Love you too. I'm going to bed. Are you coming? Yeah, I'll be in in a minute. Hey. Yeah, it's me. I need you to sort me out again. Can you do that for me? Yeah, sweet, okay. Where shall I meet you? Okay, yeah. No. Bollocks, he put the price up last time. No. No, he doesn't know. Oh. Okay. Right, I'll see you there. Bastard! Fuck's sake, Jason, what are you doing?
You all right, Finny boy? How's it going? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. What are we doing with that guy? Oh, he's the guy I was telling you about. Yeah, Joey Horn. You can't trust him. Listen, you trust everyone at the gym, don't <laughs> yeah. you? But they're like family. Joey is part of that family. What? He went to the gym, way right before you did. Maybe it's you that can't be trusted. Jason, wait. He's poison, and he's going to bring you down like he does everyone else. Joey's not like that. You know he can help you with your bullying problem. He is my problem. <laughs> what, my mate is your bully? That's hilarious. He makes my life hell. Joey's not like that. You're just being soft. Don't go queer on us. Don't, don't ever me. lay a finger on me. I'll fucking kill you, you little puff. Got it? Now get out of my sight. Apparently most couples conceive naturally within 12 months. We've been trying for 11 months and three days now. Yeah, sounds about right. So we could still do it naturally. There's some advice here. Shall I read it to you? Go on. It says we shouldn't be having sex all the time when trying. More like twice every other day to keep the sperm count high. Maybe I should make a timetable so we can keep to schedule. Like you say, we need to be prepared. Yeah, sounds good. In order to keep the sperm to the highest standard, the male should use loose-fitting underwear. Maybe the reason we can't conceive is because you wear your jockstrap to box in. Maybe my sperm isn't the problem. Maybe you're the reason we haven't conceived. Is that what you think? No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. What I mean is, all these tips are about me. Maybe we both need to make some changes. Alright, what about this? It says here someone had been practicing, practicing breathing yoga techniques taught by a famous Indian yoga guru and they keep the reproductive system healthy. Worth a try? Yeah, why not? Listen, Kelly Tech, she wants to meet up about a coaching course. I gotta go. Fine. It says here that you need to keep eating to keep sperm count high. I'll grab a bacon sandwich on my way. No, salt and processed meat's bad for sperm. Take some fruit. Okay, see you later. Love you. Love you too. What are you trying to achieve, Maxine? Seriously. Can I help you? His aunt's here. I need to speak to him. Can you see him anywhere? Is that actually a stupid question? Sorry, it's just... What? It's about Jason. I think he's in trouble. What trouble? He's been hanging around with this dodgy guy. And he's been trying to make me do steroids to help me with my boxing. And I know he's on them too, as God knows what else other drugs. He just really needs my help. Don't, don't worry. I know exactly what you can do to help him. Really? Great what? Simple, really. Mind your own fucking business. What? As long as he doesn't come here and tarnish the club's name and bring anything illegal here, I can give a flying fuck what he does. But, but that's not okay. We need to help him. We don't need to do anything. Plenty of sportsmen do it. They just have to be clever enough not to get found out. Now run along, pretty boy. Next time, mind your own business. Just let Ants know, yeah? Kelly, what can I do for you? All right, Tina, here's Zant's about. I'm meant to be meeting him. He left about half an hour ago to meet you. He said for me to come round here and we'll discuss it over lunch. Honestly, that man, what he says and what he does are completely different things. He's probably got confused and gone to the gym. I'll head over there now. See you later, Miss B. Yeah. Bye, Kelly. Sorry about that. I'll have serious words with him. You know, I've tried so hard to make sure that everything in my life goes to plan. And now that I think it is, it's just all going to come crashing down. Look, Finn, everyone has their Achilles heel. You just have to be strong and don't let anyone know your weakness. Yeah, but the thing is, everyone already knows what it is. Then find out theirs. Like I said, everyone has one. Or better still, make them think that they're blue. Look at what smile. What do you think you're playing at? Well, Kelly, 
I'm so sorry. That is not me. okay. What do you think would happen? I'd kiss you back and say I'd love you and that we'd live happy ever after, or that I'd sleep with you with no strings attached. Kelly, I'm sorry, it's just that I'm. Yeah, but what a pervert, man, horny. I'm gay. Kelly. Kelly. So, what's the big emergency? I needed to get here ASAP. Well, I've been doing some calculating and I'm unhappy with these figures. This figure looks good to me. Maybe if you were a bit more hands-on, it would look even better. Maybe it would. We shouldn't be doing this. But it feels so right. No, this is wrong. I want this. But what about Tina? <gasps> she doesn't have to know. But she's your sister. Yeah, and she's your wife. So this guy has it in for you because you're gay? Yes. Well, it's more than that. It's complicated. It's okay. We used to be best friends. For years, his family would come on holiday with mine. And then his mum got sick. Like, really sick. Came around my house crying. And I hugged him and I told him that everything was going to be fine. And then I kissed him. He said that I was disgusted. And that he was going to ruin my life. And that's why I started at the gym. To defend myself. I can understand that. Is that why you started? I don't want to. You can talk to me, you know. It's just hard for me. You can't tell anyone about this. Sorry for interrupting your meeting. It's just Kelly wanted to know where you were. Tina, it's not what it is. What is it then? Because it looks to me like my husband and my sister are lying, cheating bastards. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen, sis. Don't call me that. You're not my sister. Sisters won't do this to each other. Tina, I'm sorry. I can explain. Don't. I can't stomach any more of your lies. At least it happened now instead of after we'd had a baby. That'll be one less life you've ruined. Both of you. Enjoy your lives together. I won't be in either of them. Tina, I'm sorry. I love you. Do you know? Thanks for being there today. It meant a lot. Don't worry about it. Whoa, whoa. Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a queer hugging a slag? Fuck off. Is this him? Or what, gay boy? Leave him alone! What the fuck is going on? This piece of shit thinks he can ruin everyone's lives! 
Kelly, you need to keep yourself clean, otherwise you're finished. Oh, you psycho bitch! Oh. Now I'm done! Kelly, you've just ruined your boxing career. Fuck you! I've got my life back. <laughs>